Bucks County. This is Michael Covington. I am hosting Candidate Focus, and I have here with me Tony Scott, who's running for County Commission in District 5. Tony, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome. Now, first thing I want to find out is, why are you running? Why are you running for County Commission in, in your district? Well, um, as a lifelong West Knox Countyan, I think it's becoming increasingly obvious actually to all of us the need for some of our everyday citizens to get more involved in local government. Obviously local government as we have been learning especially since 2020 it is um, it is truly what affects most of our daily lives our families our children our community and I think we can do a lot of good there so I think we need to jump in and we need to take an active role and and help our district and especially in my district where we have a lot of growth going um, I want to help contribute and keep some of this small town charm that we have out um, well really in Knoxville I want us to help preserve some of the charm we have in our communities so that is my goal and that's why I'm here and tell me what uh, what areas of the county are, are comprised in District 5 so District 5 can be a little bit interesting we obviously we have um, Farragut and Concord in the Chodo area, but we also have um, a long corridor that runs along Westland. So we have some of the Westland, Ebenezer, Gleason, um, all the way over to like South Gallagher View. So we have a lot of different neighborhoods and areas and a lot of different needs. Okay. And Tony, how do you envision representing the 5th District? How, how will you be the voice of District 5 on County Commission? Uh, I think I have a really unique ability to um, to help represent our community. Again, as I've mentioned, uh, I'm a product of District 5. So I think that I have the historical context and then the heart of service that, um, that I will be able to represent the people very well. Um, obviously, politics is a new venture um, mm -hmm. for me. Honestly, when I didn't didn't really expect to see myself in, but I think it's a really good thing. I think we need a little bit more of that. I think we need some people who are willing to serve the community. Uh, I will serve with my whole heart, with integrity. Um, and so that's what I hope to bring to commission. I hope to bring the people's voice to the county commission. And then like I have mentioned, continue to work to preserve some of the charm we have um, in our communities. And one of the big things that um that is happening now, certainly on County Commission, is their review of, a, of an, an initiative called Advanced Knox. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you, how you see that process um, unfolding. And some, of the, some aspects of it have been, already been approved mm -hmm. uh, on first read. But beyond that, what do you, how do you feel about the Advanced Knox concept where they're trying to shape development in Knox County over the next 15 to 20 years? I think it's very wise. I think obviously with any program that's that comprehensive, there will be lots of discussion and fine tuning of the details, which has already been going on and will continue. But having a plan for growth and development seems very important to me. It's something that we haven't had a plan in existence for a while. The previous ones are, are outdated. So the Advanced Knox program will, um, its projections all the way to 2045. Knoxville is growing at a very rapid rate right now. Um, in fact, one of the studies I was looking at recently was talking about how our growth rate in Knoxville and the surrounding communities is 4.38%. And previously it was at 1.03%, if I'm remembering correctly. So that's like a 3% increase just since, over a 3% increase actually since 2020. And when we are growing that quickly and that rapidly, I think it would be foolish to not have a plan. Um, so I am in support of the Advanced Knox program. Okay. Um, there's a, a hundred home development scheduled for North Shore Drive. Um, you, are you for that? Are you, you in favor of that? Or are you a little, little reluctant? Well, uh, as with many things, there's, always, there's not always a cut and dry answer. Um, we have a lot of infrastructure needs in West Knox County, especially out there on the Chodo North Shore area. Our growth has um, been quick. Well, it's been consistent, but it's also been, it's been quick. So we have infrastructure needs that do need addressed. Now we also have housing. 
um, across the city that, that is needed. So I think as we continue to increase our supply across the city, not just in our district, but I do think that that will, that will help alleviate some of the stress and demand for housing. Um, the project that's out there on North Shore, it has been changed a little since it was first um, requested. Um, it is down to um, a less unit per acre proposition. Um, it is still in discussion. I, I think it will be important to have a seat at the table for those discussions to try to um, come up with what is positive for the community as a whole um, to see what infrastructure needs do need addressed. I, I, do love, I do love farms. I do love our fields. Uh, when I was growing up in Farragut, almost all of that was farms and fields. So um, I do want us to continue to find and be creative as we give incentive, incentives um, for farmers to keep their fields. But we also know that we live in a democracy and we can't keep a farmer from from selling his field either. So we have to try to find a balance and figure out ways that that's gonna be a positive thing for our community. And you mentioned that uh, Choto, the Choto area and Farragut are in, in that Southwest Knox County district. Uh, just recently, uh, several of the, a lot of the residents banded together to, to object to a, a particular development that was coming into that area. What, uh, what are your feelings about how that ended up being resolved. Yes, uh, well, I do think that we need to, in, in every district in Knoxville, um, I would hope that your county commissioner is trying to advocate for um, different, different projects that are in line with the community character and some of the goals that, that um, your, your community has. Um, that can that can be a challenge because obviously we have a lot of different voices and a lot of different opinions but i think that's something that each commissioner in each district in even different parts of your district will have to um, take into consideration the needs and the desires and and how it fits in with the character and the charm of of their community and the needs so you have different issues and you also have different opportunities and so i think each has to be um, evaluated on an individual basis and just just from your answers to the last two questions, it it um, leads me to, uh, given your being in a campaign and and early voting starts on on Valentine's Day, it on, does. On the 14th, it does. Uh, you've talked with a lot of folks in in your district. What are your what are the folks in the southwest uh, corridor of the county? What are they saying in terms of what they're looking for? I think in my district specifically. Um, I think we're looking for infrastructure needs. I think we're looking for a balance on the development that's already taken place. Um, some projects have not had a lot of favorable community support. Um, if they're already rolling, there's, there's nothing that I would um, be able to do in regards to those projects that have already kind of started construction. Um, but I do think we want to have a hope and, and a um, a realistic confidence that that we have somebody in place who is looking out for for the community, looking out for their needs. Um, we don't want to look like another Atlanta. We don't want to look like a Nashville. None of us want that kind of traffic. It's it's why we've chosen to live where we live, and so we want some of that to stay um, to, to stay true, to stay true. And, and obviously, from a business perspective, we want our businesses to thrive and prosper. Mm -hmm. We have some businesses that have been serving our communities for decades. Uh, I want them to be successful. Um, so we do need to make sure that we consider um, prosperity for our businesses. That obviously affects individual families, our households, our budgets, um, et cetera. So I think it's striking a balance but I think it's also feeling like that there's somebody in there that's a voice for the people. I think that's what people want to see and, and they want to have confidence in that. And, and so you you pretty much laid out how you would be the, the, the voice and the face of Southwest Knox County on County Commission. What will Tony advocate for to benefit Southwest Knox County? Well, I will advocate for um, infrastructure. 
a lot of infrastructure. Uh, our infrastructure needs are behind um, behind what we're using on a daily basis. So I definitely would advocate for infrastructure. Um, I'm a strong advocate of school support as a mom, um, as a former middle school teacher. I believe that the schools are the heart of our community and we are blessed um, in this city. Uh, we are blessed in District 5 with some really phenomenal schools, administrators, teachers, PTOs, staff, parent volunteers, you name it. Um, we truly are, we are very blessed. Um, I want to continue to support them in any and every way possible. Um, I think that our public service and our essential workers, I, I firmly um, think that they are a backbone of our community and I want to offer any assistance and support that I can give them through commission, be that through uh, budgets or or any other encouragement and support. I think we're very fortunate where we live and I just want to continue to see us love living in Knoxville. I want to see my kids think that this would be a great place for them to raise their family someday. And I think that's what a lot of us want. You're running for county commission, uh, but you'll be a, a, a representative and a voice for parents who have uh, young people in schools in, in the uh, Southwest Knox County area. Um, how how do you feel though you're not running for board of education? How do you feel about charter schools and and uh, the potential for vouchers taking students maybe out of some of the public schools in your district? Well, that can be kind of a hot topic, um, with a with a wide variety of opinions, and I understand that. In the business world, competition tends to make us better there's potential for that with a voucher system again we have we have great opportunities and options here in knoxville and i think for people who've experienced school systems outside of knoxville they can understand and appreciate some of the wonderful schools that we have here i think that the voucher program success will fall onto the details of accountability so i am not opposed to a voucher system I, I also, like I said, a lot of that becomes clearer in what exact details and accountability format is laid out. Tony, in the minute or so that we have left, what would you like voters in Southwest Knox County to know about Tony Scott? Hmm. Well, I suppose I would like for them to know that as a lifelong resident, um, my husband is a lifelong resident, our families both live here, our kids go here. We are invested in this community. We've been involved in it a long time, um, out in, obviously in our district of District 5, but also through UT and, and just other community events. I would just like for them to know that I would be honored to serve them, that I think that we can accomplish a lot of good in the community. I think that we are at a pivotal time for not only just the atmosphere, um, which it would be nice if it would turn to be a little bit more of a positive atmosphere of politics, but also just um, growth, development, things that are on the table whether we want them to be or not. And I think we can tackle those as long as we're working together. I think we can accomplish a lot of good things. And that's why I'm here. And uh, we've got a little bit of time left. Um, you'd be working a lot, you'd wor be working closely with uh, the mayor and mm -hmm. the Board of Education. Do you see that being a seamless relationship? I do. I do. I see that working very well. I have a lot of respect and admiration for both our mayor and um, for the Board of Education. I think they have very pivotal and important roles and jobs in our community and I think that we can accomplish good things if we work together and I think the accountability is a great thing. Tony, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me.